transformation. I have black hair now. Hey guys, my name is Roina. I have type 1 diabetes and welcome back to my channel. This week I want to talk about something that I a lot of people around me have been going through and something that I've noticed a lot and I just wanted to discuss. So today's talk is about how to be kind to yourself. Well, the first thing to know is that there are two types of two types of societies. There's an individualistic society and a collectivistic society. In an individualistic society, the individual is at the center of everything. So they are the most important being. And then comes their relationships with their family, with their friends, with their society, etc. So they they are the center of everything. That is in countries such as the United States, Europe, etc., Western countries. Then we have collectivistic societies, which is something that is that are present in Asian countries. So what happens in those societies is that an individual is considered to be a part of a broader mechanism. So these are the important are your relations with your friends, family, society, and lastly you. So it's kind of the opposite. There's no one society which is better than the other. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. But this is something which I've noticed is that in a collectivistic society, such as India, we are so used to putting other people before ourselves, we are so used to doing things for other people, going out of our way to help other people, that sometimes we forget to do things for ourselves and we feel really guilty if we need to put ourselves before somebody else. i give you an example of this. So since I got diagnosed, uh, there are some things which I need to do. For instance, I need to have a meal at 1 o'clock every day no matter what. And Sometimes I may be out with my family or friends or traveling. And in this particular instance, it was one o'clock, so we were out traveling. And I had to tell my sister that, you know what, I need to stop because I need to eat lunch right now. And she wasn't hungry, she, she wasn't tired, she wanted to go on. But I said, no, I'm sorry, I mean, I do have to go right now and I need to take my insulin right now and I need to eat right now, so we need to stop. And she got it. In the beginning, when I had to do things like this, it made me feel really uncomfortable because it made me feel really guilty for putting myself before the other person. I mean, clearly they don't want to do what I want to do right now. Why am I being so insistent? But the thing is that I realized I need to do this for myself. I need to put myself first because if I don't do that, if my physical health suffers, if my mental health suffers, if I am constantly unhappy, who am I really hurting? I mean, of course I'm hurting myself, but I'm not really helping anyone else out in the situation either. They're going to be unhappy because they're going to have to deal with someone who's cranky, they're going to have to deal with someone who's having who, who's unhealthy, who's having fluctuating blood sugar, who's having anxiety, etc. So, I'm not really helping them either. And just think, just because you put yourself before someone else, or you put your needs before someone else's, it doesn't mean that you're doing something bad to them. You need to put your your priorities before anyone else's priorities because in life everyone's doing stuff for themselves, right? Now this doesn't mean that you go out of your way to harm someone or to you know sabotage their efforts or basically throw a wrench in their plans. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean hurting the other person. It just means that you say, okay, let me do this for myself first and then I can help you out and you, the thing is if we, if we spend all of our time focusing on making other people happy focusing on doing things for other people we are not spending any time on ourselves so who's going to be looking after us? no one and we are also unconsciously creating this expectation from the friends and family that we are doing stuff for that they need to be doing the same thing to us we are making them responsible for us achieving our life goals, for us being happy, for us doing things. And I don't think that's fair because it you can't put such expectations on someone else. Like other people are not mind readers. They're not going to know what you need. They're not going to, they're not going to know what you do. And while yes, they may try their best, but other people can't make you happy. Only you can make yourself happy because you're the one who knows what you want. So you shouldn't feel guilty about putting yourself first. And how do you go about this? So the first thing is you need to build a relationship with yourself. You need to get to know who you are. And this is something that obviously takes a lot of time, but to start somewhere, and the reason I say this is because a lot of people, especially young people like our age, 
are really uncomfortable being alone. Don't want to be alone. You constantly want to be surrounded by friends, constantly surrounded by family. Even if you are alone at any time, you are always on the phone, you are checking a message, you are chatting with someone. So we are never truly alone. But what I did is, in university, during my third year, I would spend a lot of time alone. I would go out for meals alone, I would go for walks, I would take myself to movies, I would take myself to bookstores, I would go to do a ton of stuff alone. And as I moved out of university, I started traveling alone. I started doing a lot of other things alone. And what I realized is that I figured out what it is that I like, what it is I don't like. And because I spent so much time with myself, I got to know who I am much better. And I got to know other things such as how would I like to be treated by my friends and family? What are the things that I would like to do on a daily basis? Where, where is it that I want to see myself go? These are things I discovered because I spent a lot of time alone with myself. So I would highly recommend this. You need to treat yourself like you would your best friend or your partner. You need to invest time and energy in yourself because unless you do that, unless you become comfortable with who you are, what it is you want and you know just be your own best friend you're always going to be confused you're always going to be anxious you're always going to be uncomfortable and you'll never be able to prioritize your needs before someone else the second thing that putting yourself before someone else and harming someone else are two very different things and you need to you need to evaluate what you're doing at that moment for instance if i sit for a job placement along with my friend for the same company i'm not harming them in any way. It's, it's more of a case of let the best man win. We both wish each other well, we both do our best and whoever gets it, gets it. No grudge is held. But if I do something like I intentionally don't tell them what time to come for the placement, I intentionally ruin their uh, resume, I do bad things like that, then I'm going out of my way to harm them. And that is something you should not be doing. Putting yourself first doesn't mean that you get to shit on everyone else's life just means that sometimes you say that I need to do this for myself and then I can help you out or then I, I, or then I can prioritize your needs. So those are two very different concepts and it is important to know the difference between them, you know. Like it doesn't give you a license to be an ass to people but it does mean that you become the best version of yourself for yourself, for you so that you can be the best version of yourself to other people. And i say that the third most important thing is stop having expectations, you know. A lot of times the reason why we feel, like I mentioned, we feel guilty about putting ourselves before other people. And we have this unconscious um, expectation from other people that they would be, that they should be doing things for us. We say, he should know what I want because he's known me for three years. They should get why I don't want to do this, they should accommodate, I shouldn't have to tell them all the time, should, would, could, all of these things come to the picture. These, these all mean that we have expectations from these people and that we think that they should act a certain way in order to make us happy. The minute you start doing this, first of all, you'll never be able to put yourself before other people because constantly in your head you're like, I don't need to do this for myself because someone else should be doing it for me. Horrible. You need to be doing it for yourself. And secondly, you're always going to be disappointed because people are not mind readers. Other people don't know you as well as you know yourself. And they can't, they can't grasp your needs or understand what you require in a moment as well as you would for yourself. So if you stop expecting things from other people, that is, you stop expecting them to do certain things that act in certain ways, you'll stop feeling so guilty about putting yourself first because you'll realize that it is important for you to do these things for yourself as it is for them to do those things for themselves. They shouldn't expect these things out of you and conversely you shouldn't ex have unrealistic expectations. If you agree let me know down in the comments. If you don't agree let me know down in the comments again. I'd love to hear from you guys and I'm really sorry I didn't get a chance to post a video last week but I'm going to stay as consistent as I can and if you like this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Share this video with all of your friends and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I will see you again next week. Bye.